Because the original valve with an integrated ignition is unavailable, we're replacing the controls and rewiring the igniter assembly. Removing the control panel begins by removing the knobs with an Allen wrench to loosen the tension bolt pressed against the valve stem. Next, the two small screws around the stem have to be removed before we can actually remove the control panel for access to the valves. With control valves exposed, we can remove valves by unscrewing the bottom clip and pulling valves free of manifold pipe. New valves are smaller with a different clamp, but install exactly the same. Although valves will accept the same manifold pipe, fuel orifice and knobs, they do not have an igniter. This model has a single outlet AAA module that is easily removed by unscrewing the button. We'll replace this single outlet module with a six outlet module by first marking the diameter of the hole for the button, then widening the opening for the new module. With a six outlet module, we can add all new ignition electrodes. Because of the large firewall opening, we're using a threaded electrode with oversized washers. Placing a washer on either side of the grill firewall, the igniter is tightly attached to the wall right next to the burner. These electrodes have an extra long steel tip that could be easily bent or clipped to set and adjust the gap to spark strongly against the iron burner. With all the electrodes installed next to the cast iron burners, every time we press the ignition button, all the electrodes spark simultaneously. Whichever burners we turn on immediately ignite. Adjusting the electrodes up or down, left or right is simple. There's so much space and length to work with, so burners ignite immediately.